Welcome back everyone. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the Canva GBT. We're gonna see its use case. We're gonna see if it's even improved past the plugin version and everything we need to know about it when it comes to leveraging it in chat GBT. Now, right off the bat, you might be like, how the heck did you even access this? Uh, I simply just Googled it, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the description down below. Just click it. That's kind of how they structure the GBTs now. It's kind of like passing around a link uh, for chat. So those are not uh, spam links. Those aren't gonna, I mean, some might be, so watch out what you click. Make sure it has the open AI chat uh, in, the do in the domain, if I can speak. But that is how the chats and GPTs are passed around in this context. Let's go ahead and jump in today and see what we can do. Now, before we jump in fully, I want to point out one last thing here as I'm getting a lot of new viewers here. So if this is the first time you've seen me or seen my face and you're watching, this is the first time you've seen my content. My name is Corbin. I'm a full stack AI engineer. The type of content I do is actually showing you how to use artificial intelligence, whether it's in your personal business life. This ranges from a business automation context all the way down to, you know, let's see what Canva does. So you're going to get a full idea. This isn't fluff. This isn't, you're not going to see a lot of B-rolls here. So there is no B-roll as you see right now. I'm not showing you some random dude coding. It's just me, you, and we're going to learn a ton. So let's go and jump in today. We are going to uh, essentially see what we can do here. So I am familiar with the plugin. Um, I'm going to try to do some multiple use cases here and kind of see how it communicates. Uh, first, let's go ahead and just you know, use one of the uh, suggested chats and see how it structures its outputs here and proceed here. All right, so since I'm wearing a Christmas sweater, you already know we gotta do a seasonal sale poster. We'll say, uh, let's do a Christmas uh, sale. We sell, you know, let's say dog treats. Our company name is uh, Wolf Treats. See, I'm doing a couple things here. First thing I'm, think, I'm doing here is can it in, uh, interpret actual text? So I'm gonna, am I going to see wolf treats in this poster here? Uh, can it interpret, is it going to provide me with a dog treats uh, image or do it, can I provide images? So we're going to learn everything here. Plus, can we do DALE generation and then put it into a Canva template? We're going to learn that all today. And then that thing I just showed, that thing that just popped up there, where it was allow, always allow or decline, that's going to be a reoccurring thing that happens throughout GBTs. The reason that pops up and that's super cool. Um, I like that. But the reason that keeps popping up is because in the context of using GPTs, sometimes they access data outside of actual OpenAI's network, e.g. we're accessing uh, Canva's data. So there's always gonna be some type of consent window that pops up. I'm going to go ahead and click always allow for the next one here so it doesn't pop up again, but that's just for you to know. So if you're using a GPT and the link seems a little bit like what's going on here, um, decline it or look up on YouTube to see if anyone's ever used that GBT before. But without further ado, as you see here, we got two different options here. So, all right, so we got delicious treats for your furry friend. So it looks like they went ahead, it, it was able to interpret what I meant by treat, was able to find that. Um, it is able to get in context with the wolf that I added here. Let's see what happens when I open it up. I'm assuming it's taking me to GBT, or sorry, Canva. Okay, it does take me to Canva here. All right, so they're being a little sneaky here. So it looks like uh, they're probably inclined to use images that require a premium account. Keep that in mind. So obviously, I could switch this and be fine. All right, so as you see here, though, it takes us directly to Canva to start editing our pre-made template from their interpretation of what I asked here. Let's see if we can take this a little bit further here. So I'm going to go ahead and say um, I like option one, but can we change the headline to uh, furry... Friends get 10% off. So let's see if it's able to edit it without me actually having to jump over to Canva's uh, back end and I can kind of do it in ChatGPT's front end. All right, here we go. Okay, so it probably could, honestly, but it seems like they're probably inclined for you to go into their platform, right? They want you to be outside of ChatGPT here. So it's just gonna give me the step-by-step -step of how to proceed from here. So let's go ahead and try a different use case here and see what else it can do. So we're gonna go ahead and try a different use case here. We're designing a logo for a cafe called The Cozy Corner. Can you design something warm and inviting with a coffee cup icon? Hit enter here, let's see what it does. I will point out though, if you are familiar with DALE and its capabilities, man, can you make some really cool icons, logos. I mean, that whole niche of logo design, um, honestly, it still has validity for one reason. Um, let me go ahead and regenerate this. Obviously, we're still in early days here. It does have validity in one reason. There was a court case that passed a couple weeks ago where they deemed that any image generation that was uh, based off AI, so using DALI or just basically any artificial intelligence image generation, you can't copyright in the court of law as of now. I don't know if a year from now that's changed, but as of now, you can't do that. Therefore, in order for you to copyright 
uh, images and stuff of this nature, you will need to have a graphic designer edit it enough, either start from scratch and edit it. So you give them as a mock-up or edit it enough for the courts to deem it to be um, changed enough by a human in order to be copyrighted. I know crazy side tangent, but we're dealing with image generation. We're dealing with Canva. Something you should know about the markets here. Um, let's go ahead and let this keep going here. So as you see, typically if you get an error, you can just go ahead and ask it to regenerate. Um, if you keep getting errors and it's like a lot of errors, just type in openaistatus.com. There is a chance that it might just be down. There's a lot of users right now. So there's a, you know, that's kind of where it's correlated there. Okay. So as you see here, option one didn't hit the mark, uh, but option two definitely hit the mark here. Um, as this is definitely a logo that could fit in our context here and option four hit the mark here. So I'm going to try one more time here. I'm going to say for option four, um, can you change the color? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, to green. I'm gonna try one more time here. In theory, I'm almost 100% certain code wise they could, but they may just ask me to jump over to, yeah, okay. So they're asking me to jump over to Canvas. So keep that in mind. It seems like they are limiting the amount of editing you can do, which honestly is kind of a bad thing. I think they should allow you to edit as much as possible because that would incentivize probably me to want to edit the entire thing here and then download on Canva. But I'm gonna try one more thing here. I'm gonna try something like this. Um, Instead of going into Canva, can you just do it here and provide it to me in green? If this doesn't work, actually, this is for C. Okay, a little off there. Basically, what they did, if you're not familiar with GPT, you can check out this whole playlist we have up here. But what they did here is they trained it in order to essentially any request for out uh, inside development within GPT. Um, they're like, no point to Canva point to this link, you know, stuff of this nature. Um, I'm going to go to sub the request here. Let's go to try something new here, um, and see more of the capability here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make a business card. The, there's two things I want to test here. And the first thing I want to test here is I want to test, can I upload an image and it can use it. The second thing I want to test here is, can I use a Dali image and have it uploaded to their Canva back Canva backend as well. One thing I want to point out is this is all early days. I mean, I'm just using this now and this came out a couple days ago. So by the time you use it, it might be possible, but let's go ahead and see if it's even possible to begin with. So we're going to go ahead and say, uh, for the design, let's do modern think of open AI type of design. And then can we use this on the business card? Uh, the image I uploaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image here. Um, this little uh, paper clip here, we can upload images with that. All right, so I got a profile shot of myself. No, it was not created by AI, okay? It wasn't in that little create your LinkedIn photo phase. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter here. Let's see what it does here. And let's see if it can add this image. This would be really cool if it can add this image. Um, let's go ahead and see. Okay. To proceed, I'll need a little permission. Could you remind me the name of the tech startup? Oh, I wonder. Okay. Um, and any specific details? Okay. We'll just say, um, we'll just say Web Cafe AI. And then uh, we'll say AI SaaS holding company. Enter here and see what it does with this information. Okay. So it wasn't able to use the image. Let me, let me just reproctor this one to say, can you use the image I uploaded. One thing I want you to note though, is that it is able to interpret text. So it was able to interpret the text um, that I originally put in here. So web cafe AI and then AI SAS holding company. So noting this, it seems like the best way to structure your prompts and a way to proceed using this Canva uh, GBT is almost like give as much context and information as possible before providing the options because it will automatically do it for you. If that makes sense uh, from here though, Okay, so yeah, it seems like they are not able to do it. Let's see if they can do a DALI image. Uh, can we do a DALI image and put on business card? Hit enter here. And I'll know if it's using DALI or not if it shows as a load here. Okay, so you don't have the capability to do that as well. Okay, we're limited here. I don't necessarily assume it's gonna stay this way though. I 
unless they really just abandoned this project i assume that in the future you'll probably be able to do a lot more editing in this context it seems like they may have just transitioned to plug into a gpt but still a little bit more nuanced with the way it uh, outputs the underlying designs all right knowing this we're going to go ahead and jump into a whole different category here we're going to say design a vintage style menu for my 1950s themed diner Okay, not bad. So I think the, the biggest use case right now that I see with Canva as a GBT is you're able to do uh, limited editing in the context of just adding text that you manipulated. Um, it is seem it does seem like a nice little search engine, though, um, that allows you to find very specific types of content found on their platform. As you see here, this is pretty spot on for such a niche thing to request, which was a 1950 a 1950s diner. Um, so knowing that I think this has a lot of potential long term. Uh, but I think right now it's kind of just limited by the fact that there might be either the way the GBT is trained, legal reasons why you can't add the image from OpenAI. There might be a lot of, you know, reasons why they're limiting our capabilities. What I can tell you from my experience, though, is that they definitely have the ability to add that image. They definitely have the ability to add a DALI image, but there's a reason why they haven't done it yet. Whether that's because they need to update it or that's because uh, there's legal reasons behind it. Not sure which is which, but... This kind of goes over everything you need to know about the Canva plugin up to this point. I'll probably do a video on it in the future if it seems to get more advanced and allows, because basically what I want this to do is I want to go in here. I want to be like, I want to make a business card. I want it to be able to take my uh, profile pic. I want to be able to uh, really just basically, I want to design my entire thing, but in the GBT. And then the end conversion point is I just jump over the Canva and download. That would be like peak uh ai right there but if you feel like you learned something make sure to leave a like it's completely free it helps me here um there is a playlist at the end here so if gbts are completely new to you you can go ahead and check out that playlist i am diving into everything you need to know so far so we're doing public private uh making public and private gbts in the context of your business or your personal life this is a great way to train a gbt for your job this is a great way to train your gbt for maybe the finances of your company whatever it may be these things can be trained on data these things can be trained on accessing software outside of it there's a lot of cool stuff we can do here real quick side note here i know i don't usually do this but i realized that it actually kind of works i was surprised i did this in my last video but if you want to follow me on twitter you can as you notice uh, letting people know you even have a twitter uh increases your engagement so i didn't know this i probably should have known this from doing eight months of content but you can follow me on twitter i just speak my mind there um, if you're interested in more layman talk and just me talking about the industry and just stuff you should probably know you can check me out on tiktok but now, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.